So good morning everyone, I had to uh, quickly run down to the garage because I had a new update and the new update has in it all new games. Sorry about the video, rubbish quality, but now I've got 2048, Asteroids, Lunar Lander, Missile Command, Centipede, Super Breakout, Millipede, Tempest and Gravitar. I've never heard of Tempest or Gravitar, um, but I do like 2048. That's cool. So you just hit there. So we've got sort of a loading screen. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, I didn't read the instructions. Oh, yeah, you just slide. That's easy then. I said I like it. I was good at it. That works. Excellent. What about what do people want to see? Super breakout. Move paddle on screen. Scroll button. Scroll button on steering wheel. Turn. Oh, to move the paddle. Move the paddle on the screen. Scroll button on the steering wheel. Or turn the steering wheel. Swerve pull. Tap screen. Press button on the steering. Wheel. Okay, cool. So you got three ways to control it by looks of things. screen but that's cool how do we start there we go oh oh that's not <laughs> that's not easy come on try again okay it's a bit slower than your finger let's give it some more coins okay Let's try the steering wheel. Oh, oh it's, really, it's really slow with the steering wheel. Brrr. Nope. Oh, okay, and with the scroll buttons, it goes in chunks. Let's try it with the. Hmm. Okay, so that's not easy to play. Tina. Let's try again. Run that. Run the key tab. There we go. Okay. Gravitar. Let's try millipede. Drag cursor on the screen to move. Touch to shoot. Press right scroll wheel button to shoot. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Mosquito. B beetle. Millipede. Wow, this got different. Okay. So let's try the, um, well, let's try the millipede. Oh, damn. Spider got me. That's the same, but you've got some extra options by the looks of things. Oh, you can press and hold to fire. That works. Oh, I don't know what to do with him. Okay. So that's cool. You can go back to the menu here. Tempest. Swipe. Move it. Wow, that's really annoying. Swipe around on screen. Scroll wheel to shoot. Okay, so. Swipe and tap. Tempest. I have never seen this game in my life. I am 40 years old. Oh, that's quite rubbish. Okay, this is not, not one to record when you're having a first go. I have no idea what the heck's going on. Okay, so I can uh, draw a circle. I don't know. I worked that one out another time. Um, so that's cool. Now, other things that were in the release notes were really quite good. Um, so now, software updates. 
sorry I went in uh, portrait mode and now we want landscaper hey um so software updates you can now see details about your vehicle software by tapping controls software in addition to your current software version you can see when there's a new software package available to be downloaded a download progress bar is displayed once your car is connected to wi-fi after the download is complete you'll continue to be able to schedule it when you want that's cool so what's that in controls oh look yes controls software Okay, that's cool. So you've got obviously details about my car. And then, um, so I can see the number on 2019.12. And the navigation is European 2018.42. Okay, so that's kind of old. Um, but that's interesting. So I guess we'll get the progress bar in here and you can go back to the release notes. Cool. Okay, that's nice. And then, obviously, we've got the new Tesla Tari. And uh, sentry mode, I think, is the same as it was. Nothing has changed. And the dash cam. Obviously, we got the side cameras a little while ago. Now, new web browser. Let's see if this is new web browser or a slightly changed web browser. Mm, okay. mm, still doesn't autocomplete. Seems okay. Um, let's look for horses. Actually, that seems to load okay. Let's see if we can do a video of a big horse. No, okay, so still not there. Let's try uh, tesla.com. I'm on my home Wi Fi. 25 meg on this wireless extender. Oh, that's way quicker. Wow, that's much, much smoother, much nicer. Okay, that's cool. I think things got better. Um, let's try something like hey, I love this guy's screensavers, they're really cool. Um, you can have the fireplace. Things are loading much better. They're smoother, they're quicker. Um, let's see what the fish are like. Wow, the fish are, <laughs> fish are on steroids now. They're really <laughs> quick. <laughs> um, okay, so the fish are very, very fast. Uh, let's try the matrix, see how fast that runs. Ooh, that's really, really fast. I don't know if that shows on the film, but... Wow, that's crazy quick. Okay, so the web browser got a lot quicker. Mm, no, it's no, it's not. It's not remembering stuff. That's fine. Wow, it's so much faster. Now let's see if I disconnect it from my Wi-Fi. Is it still? Um, uh, I'll just put in any old word. Any anything. Ooh, yes, on LTE. Really, really quick. Crikey, I got loads better. Cricket huddle. So, okay, so it's loading pictures mad fast. That's on two bars of LTE here in Switzerland. Uh, I'm really impressed. I'm really, really impressed. The web browser is good. Is seriously good. Sorry, Tina, not now. Yeah, cool. So... Uh, it looks nice. It looks nice. Um, this is going to be good fun to see when it actually... It looks like it's going to tell us that it wants to download an update, and then it's going to download it when on Wi-Fi. So maybe we're moving away from uh, updates arriving on LTE. I feel like that's what they're doing here, is that we're not going to get updates on LTE. We're going to get told when one wants to be downloaded, and then we have to go onto Wi-Fi and download it. That seems reasonable. That's fine. That's going to suck a little bit for people who don't have Wi-Fi or a garage or that kind of thing. Okay, cool. So I think that's really good. Um, very interesting. Okay.